Visionary leadership is crucial to the sustainable growth of our cities and businesses as responsible leadership affects both the present and the future. This episode of the Visionary Leader Show on Future Cities Africa is brought to you in partnership with Business Engineering, a leading consultancy on public sector strategy and transformation in both local and national environments. Paul Swart, Executive Mayor at Cape Agalas Municipality, is my guest today. We discuss visionary leadership, the smart city vision and innovative solutions at Cape Agalas Municipality, the importance of long-term thinking, managing complexities, and much more. Paul, welcome. It is fantastic to have you on the show. To kick us off, what are the key characteristics of a visionary leader? And can you share some examples? I must just stress that uh, the theme of this term, 2021-2026 for Cape Agalas, is the era of renewed hope through real innovation. How do we also, you know, at local government level, deal with the poverty-stricken households? and also real complex issues within the borders of, in Cape Agalas. In South Africa, a municipality consists of the political structures, the administration, and the community. The leadership role that is exercised by the executive mayor should strive to bring, and it's very important, to try and bring the, these three components together. The Cape Agalas community comprises people of diverse socio-economic backgrounds, from the very wealthy to the poorest of the poor. And being a visionary leader means being in touch with the people and understanding the life circumstances of all our people within the borders of Cape Agalas. A good leader needs to find a harmonious way of balancing the needs of all people all the sectors, the groupings within the community. And my door as the office of the executive mayor is always open. And I will always make time to hear what everyone has to say and emphasize with their circumstances. South African municipalities provide a vast array of services, including but not limited to water, sanitation, roads, electricity, cemeteries, and public facilities. The municipality finances these services through the levying of property rates and service charges. An unfortunate reality is that there are never enough resources to be able to do everything that needs to be done in our communities. An administration that can find uh, that balance between good fiscal control and service delivery, whilst rendering good, clean governance, is therefore very critical. At Cape Agalas Municipality, I'm proud to say today that we have managed to achieve this as evidenced by eight consecutive clean audits. Being a visionary leader in the municipal environment is a very unique challenge and a very special role that is very close to my heart. Cape Agalas municipality is one of the smallest municipalities, and even in our small municipality, our clients number, approximately between 35 and 38,000, a number of uh, that increases drastically over the summer uh, holiday season. So that is what I see then, how do you see and um, go with the challenges within your borders of your municipality. What are our leaders currently not getting right when leading their municipalities or organizations? What needs to change and how can change happen? I'm of the view that leaders constantly need to assess what is working and what is not working. Society is very dynamic uh, and influenced by a constantly changing external environment, which means that what is working today may not work tomorrow. And a few examples of uh, catalytic events in recent years that changed the way we think are the COVID-19 pandemic, the day zero water crisis in Cape Town, 
And closer to home within the borders of Cape Pegalas, we had a major xenophobic incident, land grabs and the flood in 2021. It is of cardinal importance for leaders to be flexible and responsive to changing the circumstances. As municipal leaders, we also need to redirect our focus to long-term planning and not just the five-year time frame that is encompassed in the Integrated Development Plan or the IDP as it's known. All too often, you know, we, we focus on short-term wins of the term of office of the political council without thinking of the longer term. Impactful economic development needs proper planning if we are going to create opportunity for the youth of today and their children. For me, is it very important. Now is the time to create a balance between the short-term wins that will truly benefit our community and laying the foundation for long-term sustainable development that will benefit future generations. Paul, a bit more on leadership. How has the role of a leader changed in recent times, especially since the pandemic? What we see today and what we experience today is that COVID-19 pandemic forced us all to think out of the box. You know, I've started here in 2016, and I've said when I've come in here, if we do what we always did, then we will always have what we always had. And let's start and operate outside the box. Our view of normalcy changed so drastically within a short space of time, and we were forced to embrace a different way of doing things. The poverty, suffering, and economic decline that we saw in our community had to be addressed. And the only way to do this was to take hands with the community and work together to help one another. COVID-19 also changed the way in which the municipality worked and forced a technological revolution, not only at Cape Agalas, but also throughout the world. At Cape Agalas, it enabled us to give effect to our smart city strategy, which we adopted as far back as 2018, which focused on embracing technological solutions as well as our business continuity plans, which up until COVID had not really been tested. I'd like to know, how do you manage the complexity of your daily responsibilities and how do you prioritize what is done first? That is one thing that I'm really not getting right 100% yet. But, you know, key to managing the, the complexities of a municipality is knowing where you are going and how to get there within the constraints of the environment. Having a good team at the highest level that share a common vision for the future is critical, essential. My team here at Capigalas comprises my medal committee, who really share my, this common vision uh, on a political level, as well as a municipal, we have a municipal manager who cascades this vision down to the municipal administration and implements effective project management, ensuring that everyone knows what to do by when to achieve the overall objective, and that is essential. You've touched on Cape Agalas municipality's transition towards a smart city. What is your smart city strategy, and what challenges have been addressed by implementing sustainable, innovative, and smart solutions? Thank you, Dan. The, you know, the biggest question is, what should we be focused on? And how do one prioritize solutions? To determine this, one needs to understand uh, the various influences 
stakeholders, legislative uh, requirements and, and others, especially in a regulated environment like the municipalities. That boils down to the next question. What is the problem we want, uh, really want to address? Ultimately, the focus needs to be citizen-centric and not in all cases may the problems we are trying to address be perceived as focusing on the citizen. But in the long run, this will have a positive effect on the services, uh, whether directly or indirectly, that is delivered to the citizens. The Smart City vision of Cape Agalas is as follows. Cape Agalas municipality, the southernmost municipality in Africa, providing an agile, interconnected environment to enable a sustainable and prosperous community. And to give more meaning to this, we derived five initiatives or focus areas from a strategic perspective. Firstly, smart infrastructure, smart safety, smart environment, smart governance, smart economy. This area aligned to the NDP, the National Development Plan, and our own IDP, and consists of various focus areas, but addressing all these areas will obviously not happen overnight, but taking approach conducive to most of these initiatives was key to this municipality. We also acknowledge that technology alone is not the answer in all cases, but it can form a basis to a lot thereof. The first challenge we wanted to address in Cape Agalas was connectivity, safety, and water scarcity, or at the least the management of and the monitoring of our water. The implementation of low power wide area network, the LP WAN, or IoT related uh, implementation, and the TCP based network was the first thing that we needed to address to enable the municipality Cape Agalas to realize the planned future implementations that we plan. And that was successfully deployed within four months. During the network deployment phase, a project was kicked off to implement Wi-Fi hotspots in all municipal wards to enable our youth and local economic development opportunities in our Cape Agalas area. And this led to various youth projects utilizing this infrastructure and provide access to information and connectivity for entrepreneurs that do not usually have access to resources to now access, you know, without taking anything out of their own pockets. In the first three months, the project uses about uh, 8,1 terabyte of data that at that stage equated to around 930,000 rand if they were to buy it themselves. And also, in the first phase, we, we stayed to focus on the implementation of CCTV uh, cameras and the number plate recognition, the LPR solutions, to assist the mitigation of safety and security threats. This became especially helpful during the COVID times, where law enforcement had challenges being able to monitor all areas in the municipality. It also provides valuable information that management were able to use for planning purposes during these times, and especially when it comes to resource management and deployment. As previously stated, you know, the implementation of a functional LP WAN network was key to the success of future projects and challenges. And after a rigorous process, an implementation roadmap for Cape Agalas was developed, focusing on various aspects and needs in the municipal area. One 
does however need to be aware of the immense financial implications any new initiative brings to the table. But one should also consider the possible future value it can have. The, the biggest project to date uh, in Cape Galas is the water conservation and demand management project that is currently underway. Water resources is becoming more and more scarce, and there are various reasons, like we've got a lot of development in Cape Agalas, population growth, water losses that needs to be considered. There is a lot of variables in this implementation, and the key purpose of this is to understand what is going on in the water supply and water demand networks. Till date, we can now monitor in Cape Agalas, in this small municipality, we can monitor the ground level and the flow in near real time from all active balls in Cape Agalas to the reservoirs and the dams it services. And this may seem like a very easy task, but a lot of variables needs to be considered with this one implementation type alone. We can also monitor the levels of all our reservoirs and dams with the balls on a single platform and with the current implementation of VSD, the, the variable speed drive at strategic nodes. We will soon be able to control the related pumps as well as monitor their power usage. There's a lot of advantages to this, like less time required to visit each of these sites. To the managing of the pumping schedules that can contribute to huge water resource and electricity savings over a period. A lot still needs to happen in this space, and a lot more can be said. But we feel confident at Cape Agalas that once we equip all nodes in water network, it will add a lot of value to the citizens in terms of service delivery, future developments, and job creation. Other advantages are the fact that uh, Cape Agalas municipality can use this platform and information gathered from it to inform our citizens on the current state of our resources and that they can play their part in water conservation as well. The Cape Agalas municipality also developed its own app, Cape Agalas app, to enhance communication to its citizen and implement portals where they can submit building plans and town planning applications. And looking towards the future, we are focusing on smart implementations that can benefit the public in terms of red tape reduction. But one aspect that is key to this development is digitization strategy that is aligned to the various strategies, inclusive of the smart city strategy for Cape Agalas municipality. And other focus areas that I need to mention also here. Other focus areas of the of future includes the following departments aligned to the identified initiative in the smart city strategy. And firstly, you know, water supply, water demand, wastewater and sanitation, roads and stormwater, solid waste, building control, infrastructure services, um, supply chain management, protection services municipal manager, finance and IT, planning and administration, electricity, uh, local economic development and tourism, uh, human development, uh, human settlement, public services, and lastly, library services. So that is a mouthful on our you know, future plans on our smart city idea. Paul, how important is it to have a compelling vision and the ability to take charge? Yeah, I think it's very important uh, for me, a clearly formulated yet common vision, mission and strategic objectives are essential to provide a roadmap 
to success. And for me, it's very important to note that the, and all to note that the IDP, which is the strategic planning instrument of the municipality, reflects uh, this vision. And that the said vision is not only the vision of the executive mayor, but also the vision of the community and the municipal administration. You've mentioned the importance of long-term thinking and long-term planning. But how will you define your success at the end of this five-year term? Then there's a lot of things, you know, that I'm dreaming of and what I envisage. But um, I take it day to day. We just came out of a strategic uh, session. As I said, uh, you know, we're not only planning for, for this five, five years. We've got a 30-year plan. We've got a 2050 plan. So, but success in my book, as person, as Paul Swart, as executive mayor of Cape Gallas, is defined as making a difference to people's daily lives today, whilst putting plans in place to make a difference to the lives of future generations. That's in short what I define that says, what can I do for the people in their daily lives? How can I improve you know, their circumstances today, but we need to put plans in place to make a difference in the lives of future generations. What is your vision for the future of Cape Agalas? My personal vision for the future uh, Cape Agalas is a smart city with smart thinking, uh, smart practices, smart measurement is used to address the municipality's institutions institutional challenges, as well as critical development identified you know, by, I, by the community. We're also looking at smart education. We've got a, a, a land here with some uh, uh, chalets that we actually want to change in a, in a smart local campus for our youth. We see this uh, manifestation in smart infrastructure, smart safety, smart environment, smart governance, and a smart economy in the southernmost of Africa. And for me, it's very significant. And what I said right in the beginning, 2016, that for change to happen from the southernmost point in the African continent. Paul, in closing, as a mayor, how do you ensure effective interface between political office and administration? So to ensure clear roles, responsibilities, and accountabilities for each respective structure. I think the best thing for me, there's a very fine line between uh, interference and, and, and intervening. But we in Cape Colors, I've got a very good relation with my municipal manager, uh, with all the directors. I've got a model team that's working very close with the, the directors in all port portfolios. So we're trying to be a family. But, you know, is know exactly what our responsibilities are at the moment. Um, and that is, that is how we should govern. We, people should see us as a family because we are, we are the servant. We are the servants of a community and not vice versa. We are working for our people and people want to see that, that family, the unity with, between the administration and the political sphere. A big thank you to Paul Swart, Executive Mayor at Cape Agalas Municipality, for this insightful conversation on the visionary leader show on Future Cities Africa. 